We all share the same thought of, oh, that can never happen to me. So when something does happen, we all fear the worst. My name is Damien Coles. I have come here to escape from the grind, the fast-paced society at home. I wanted to get away and enjoy something different in my life. At least what I have left of it. You see, a few weeks ago I paid a visit to my doctor. He took a few tests. A few days later, his office called and left a message asking me to give him a call back. I find it difficult right now to make that call. It preys on my mind, the thought of how many summers I have left. I feel alone and need to embrace something new and different. I need something to keep my mind off the thought of being told that I might not be long for this world. Now I'm on this bus. I don't know where I'm going. I'm a complete stranger, yet no one seems to care. It's a lot different than what I'm used to at home. People here are at ease. No stress, just living for the moment. I better get off this bus soon. It's just me and the driver. He looks at me and says, do you have anywhere to go? I shrug my shoulders and he says, come with me. He invites me to his house to meet his family. He offers me a meal and a place to rest my head for the night. We feast. The food is delicious. I'm really enjoying the time here with this family. I could have never anticipated this. Such a wonderful experience. After the meal, we shared a few stories. He taught me a few words in Samoan. It wasn't long before I started to think about having to make that call. He noticed I looked a little down and asked me if anything is wrong. I told him my doctor's office wants me to return a phone call and I'm afraid something could be wrong with me. He wrote this word, Sekia, on the back of the card. He says to me, it's good. Everything will be okay. You'll be fine, he says. Is there really anything wrong with me? Or is it all in my head? I find myself getting tired, sleepy. I thought I'd have a look around today and experience the vibe here in Samoa. Maybe go to town, do a little shopping. Everyone here seems so content and happy. They know nothing of the world I come from, yet it doesn't really seem to matter. I guess this is what I've been missing in my life. A sense of the unknown, some adventure for a change. Maybe I should buy a phone card and get it over with. Why prolong the agony of knowing what I fear? Maybe it's the not knowing what's wrong that's making me think that I need to do more with my life if indeed my days are numbered. Can I carry that around inside myself and not be able to enjoy what time I may have left? If I were to compare the life I have at home to this, would I consider giving up all the material things I worked so hard for in exchange for happiness? Am I avoiding making the call because I truly don't want to know and just want to live for the moment? Hello, Dr. Andrews' office. Uh, yes, this is Damien Coles. I'm returning a phone call. You left a message to give you a call back? One minute, please. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Coles, we were wondering, on your last visit, did you leave a pair of sunglasses here? No. <laughs> Sekia. For the first time in my life, I lived for a whole day. I could get used to this. 